Hi, welcome to Dove Creek Aussies. I'm going to give you a little tutorial on what you need or the things I suggest that you get for your puppy. Um, one of the first things I feed is salmon oil. It's just in a squirt bottle. You don't need a bottle this big. Probably the 16 ounce one is fine. And that is for the coat and their skin. I use Sure Grow on the puppies. I get mine from Revival Health. Um, it just has calcium, more vitamins. It's good for growing for the first year. Training treats. This is a really good one. You can actually, they make a smaller size, the Bill Jack brand, um, that are it's great for training. And I tell all my people, that sounds kind of dumb, keep your training treats beside your toothbrush. When you get up in the morning, you want to stick them in your pocket because you want to reward your puppy for every good thing that it does. This is the brand of puppy food I use, and if you choose not to use this one, very slowly change from this food to your new food. So you want to at least get one small bag of it. I'll give you a little bit to leave with, so some of you have long trips. Um, but the Pro Plan, you don't have to buy the Focus. Uh, dog food was getting a little hard to get around here. But you want a puppy chicken and rice formula up to one year old. And do keep them up to one year old. Purina started making a product that um, is for two and under. But I've really had a rough time getting that. I've got one that is two and under that I wanted to use it on. But I cannot find it. Um, so your puppy will be pad trained. And... One thing you can do is uh, use an X-Pen, and an exercise pen is, this is an exercise pen. That's a good thing to have upstairs, like where, um, you know, you're cooking dinner and that type of thing, in the kitchen. Um, and then you can put a little fiddle pad in there, because when you first get them, they're going to have to go all the time. Or do what I do, you take them out constantly. I just got a show puppy that was owed to me from another litter. And we have taken her out literally every 30 minutes to an hour, but she was not trained to puppy pads. Um, peanut butter. If you need to give a dog a pill, best thing in the world. I keep it down in the room at all times. And you just roll it in peanut butter and hand it to them. It's better than cheese or those things you have to pay eight bucks for. And you can get it at Costco. Um, this brand of puppy pads is Kirkland. I get it at Costco and I get the extra large ones. Don't bother with the little teeny ones. Um, this is my, my dog room. It's got all my show pictures. And it has a dog. So right now I'm going to let Addison... Um, hold her or hold the camera for me and I'm going to go through a few things. So as far as grooming, let me show you a couple things. For a puppy, get just a basic shampoo, but what you want to do is you want to dilute it. This is a squirt bottle. It came from Chris Christensen. You put the shampoo in there and dilute it because one of the worst things you can do is leave shampoo on your dog um, and we way overuse our shampoos. So put a couple tablespoons in here, add water to it. You just squirt it right out on your dog. And um, it's the easiest way to get an even amount of shampoo all over them. And this is a Dremel tool. And if you want, I can teach you how to do your puppy's toenails. At this point, you just need to get a pair of human um, clippers, fingernail clippers. And you want to do them weekly. They grow fast. It's just a growth period. I do my show dogs once a week, if not longer than that, or more often than that. Okay, Addison, I'm going to let you hold that. This is Maya. This is the puppy mama. And so I've taught her to stand, obviously, on a, on a grooming table. You literally take the Dremel, put it to their foot, and kick it off. I just recently did hers, unfortunately, so there's not. You've just taken the white off. And you just look and make sure you haven't gotten down too close. The other thing is you always want a good pair of scissors 
to do their feet. And this is going to be harder to film. Can you get around here? Uh -huh. So Australian Shepherds get very hairy feet and you want to keep this groomed down. This keeps the mud out of your house and off of your rugs. Keeps it easier to clean. Um, then when they come in, you're not cleaning all this hair. So I just take and just trim away. And you want to do that on each foot. And those will help keep your floors a little bit cleaner. Again, I'm show you that when you get here. And um, we'll do a puppy video and send that to you also. Thank you. If you have any questions, text me.